You're locked in to Fran Harris's Women's Basketball TV with WNBA champion, NCAA champion, sports announcer, and entrepreneur, Fran Harris. So buckle up, Buttercup. Here's the show. Well, somebody said it was elimination time for the Las Vegas Aces. And what I told someone in an interview after the game two was the same Las Vegas Aces that showed up in New York is not going to be the same Las Vegas Aces who showed up in Vegas. Dang! The Aces put on a, in the right town, they put on a show. They put on a show And all the people were there. All the people were there. Shador Sanders, Cheryl Swoops, Dallas Mavericks. I loved it. All the people were there. But most importantly, the Aces showed up. Will the real Aces please stand up? They did in Vegas last night. That was, I was going to say that was a great game, but it really wasn't that great of a game. It was a terrific performance by the Aces. Terrific performance by the Aces. So y'all saw it. Y'all know that when the Aces are at full force, They are difficult to beat. I was interviewed after game two by a couple of of outlets, and someone said, what do you think the, you think New York is going to sweep the Aces? And I said, the the New York Liberty can sweep the Aces if the Aces don't quit playing around. If they show up like they showed up in New York, they can they asses beat in Vegas, 100%. But they, they showed up. They showed up. They showed out. New York, come on now. I want to see a good game. I don't have a dog in this fight, but I do want to see a good game. The the New York Liberty, I mean, where, Sabrina, where are you at, boo? John Quell started out well. Then, then I'm not sure what happened with her. You know, couldn't contain Asia. Asia decided to run the floor. Asia decided to take you to the hole. Asia decided to go deep in her bag. But you know who else was deep in their bag? Well, first, let's talk about that. Kelsey Plum. Plum dog showed up. She was better. That was great. Chelsea Gray. The point God. That's that's the difference maker. If Chelsea play is at her best, it is difficult to beat the Aces. We've seen the Aces with, with Asia having a solid game, and people have beaten them. It's Chelsea. That takes nothing away from Asia, but the ball is in Chelsea's hand most of the time. So whoever's whoever's controlling ball, whoever's ball dominant from that standpoint is going to have a great impact on the game. Chelsea Gray, on point, the Aces are a contender. They're contender as long as everybody else is doing what they have to do. But if Chelsea Gray is not on point for the Aces, they are going to struggle. They're going to struggle. That takes nothing away. That's 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 literally saying you are important to your family. Whoever you are listening to me right now, you're important to your relationship. If you do what you do, your, your squad is better. That's the reality of that. Especially if you play in a, a role that is critical to the function of your family. And that's Chelsea Gray. Point guard position is not that critical in some on some teams, but it is for the Aces. So Chelsea Gray showed up, dropping dimes left and right, hitting her shot left and right. Plum Dog was in orbit. Jackie Young, outer space. Tiffany Hayes, congratulations on the Sixth Woman Award. Play well. I mean, come on. They were the Aces last night. I don't know who they've been in the first two games. But last night, they were the Las Vegas Aces. And I'll say this again. People talked about Becky Hammond calling her team out, saying they were too much uh, into their commercials or doing all this. I'm not, I'm not sure. Candidly, I'm not sure that has a whole lot to do with, with what was happening with the Aces. I think the Aces were struggling because they're not used to struggling. That's what I believe. So what do I mean by that? I believe when you are a dominant team, and I've played on several dominant teams. When you're a dominant team, you expect to play like a dominant team. And when you don't, sometimes it throws you off balance. So I think what was up with the Aces is that they were not accustomed to what was happening with their team. 
They were not accustomed to Chelsea not playing well. They were not accustomed to Plum not playing well. They were not accustomed to Jackie Young being kind of not on her game. They were not accustomed to, to people not being all at the same level, tier one at the same time. And they had to, to get an adjustment for that. They not only had to adjust physically, they had to adjust mentally and psychologically. The Aces are not used to their backs being against the wall. And what we were seeing, we were witnessing, is them figure out how to, to do the damn thing. They are human. They are mortal. And they were dealing with their own humanness as a basketball team. Everybody in this league has gone through what the Aces are going, going through. A little injury, star players not being at the top of their game. Everybody in this league has gone through that except for the Aces. It's your girl, Fran Harris, former WNBA champion with the Houston Comets. It is finally here. Yes, the first novel set in the world of the WNBA. And it's got all the good stuff. It's got love, romance, true crime, forgiveness, redemption, all the stuff you love to see in great novels. If you love Terry McMillan and Waiting to Excel, if you love Eric Jerome Dickey and all his madness, then you will love Houston by morning. It's a story of four characters, a baller, an agent, a television personality, and a coach. And the way their lives collide into one another is a beautiful mess. Pick up a copy now on Amazon Kindle or at HoustonByMorning.com. And this was a season with their backs against the wall and they needed to know who they actually are. They got it together. Some of them got off social media. I read that Asia said she shut her social media down some this season. Others were making, you know, think about it. These women just, I mean, everybody's going through something. Kelsey Plum, divorce. Chelsea Gray, recovering from her injury. Asia, all the acclaim, all the MVP pressure, all that. Jackie Young has something going on. Everybody. So the, the Aces are finding out who they are. And man, their building, there was a lot, there was some good home cooking in their building. Everybody came out to see them. Another sellout. And New York, New York just didn't show up. Was that the Aces? Did they not show up because of the Aces? Or did they not show up because they have them built up enough championship DNA to be able to play against a defending champion? I don't know. We'll see in the next game. If New York comes out like they played in New York, we understand that New York is on a mission. But now what I've been saying, and I'm, I'm with the people who, who love New York. I've been saying, listen, if New York keeps playing the way they're playing, Stewie, Phoebish, Laney, every, everybody, John Cole Jones, balling out, Sloot, New York is going to be difficult to beat. But here's something that most people don't understand because most people have never played for a championship. Most people have never had to get to the top of that mountain. When you have not won a championship and you've almost gotten there, like you lose on the last second shot or you lose in a, in a situation where, you know, you should have taken the shot. Maybe you should have gotten a play run up, uh, draw, uh, driven, uh, a play drawn up. <laughs> Couldn't figure out my word. If you lose that, I mean, you still haven't won. These, this New York team still has not won a championship for franchise history. But more importantly, this New York team, this group, that's together this year. They've not done anything together yet. See, part of what makes the Aces really good is that they've won pretty much as the same team for seasons. For They've won two championships pretty much with the same nucleus. That breeds a level of confidence that most people will never understand. You've gone to battle with these people. You've gotten to know these people. You're more than just teammates when you win a championship together. New York doesn't have that. They played well all season. They've excelled. They've got all the pieces on paper to win. But there's that little bit, there's that, that mental piece of getting to the next level that you have to get over that hump. It's a psychological, it's a psychological mountain that New York is climbing right now. Now they got to beat the aces in their building. Or it's like the it's like the the series starts over because they'll both have two games. New York's best opportunity at making a statement was yesterday. Their best opportunity at saying this is who we are. 
We don't give a damn about y'all being the aces. We don't give a damn about your two championships. We're going to take y'all. And we so bad, we're going to take you in your own building. That was their best opportunity to show the world and themselves who they are. And they, they were not there. They were absent. They did not show up for that game. Now you've got a team. You've, you've got a team like the Aces that said, yeah, we, we wanted to let y'all know who we are. We won in our building. We're going to get you on the next round. We're getting you in the next game, Sunday. And then that's fine if we got to go back to your building. We, we, we did that last year. This is the mentality of a championship team. They know even though they're down one game, they still have the mental edge. The Aces still have the mental edge in this series. You're like, what? What are you talking about, Fran Harris? That's nuts. That's crazy. No, it's not. They still have the mental edge. You don't understand. When you are a champion, when you won, when you've dominated, you walk on the court with a 10-point advantage just mentally. The number of teams when I played for Texas or when I played for Houston walked on the court that were like, oh, those, that's the comments or that, that, that's Texas. You're already, you already have an advantage. And even though New York is up to, the Aces still have the mental advantage. Well, that's going to blow some of your minds, but it's nevertheless the truth. Nonetheless, it is true. I can't wait to see Sunday's game. I'm pulling for a great game. We deserve a great game. I do not have a dog in that right, in that right, in that race, and in that fight. I don't. I want to see a great game. I want to see New York fight, 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 fight to eliminate the Aces. And I want to see the Aces dominate. Letting folks know this is still our house. That's what I want to see. If both of those teams bring that mentality to that game, it's going to be a nail biter. Who y'all think is going to win that one? Who y'all think is going to win the New York at Aces game Sunday? Who you got? We'll see you in the next one. Hey, I didn't ask you that about Minnesota, but who do you think is going to win the Minnesota Sun Series as well? That's a good one, too. See you in the next one. That's all for now. Before you bounce, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and check out the merch.